Hi everyone, welcome to the Pensioner Adventurer. Um, as you would have seen in the title, the uh, the, the videos regarding um, a DF4 track bike that I own, um, and it's another video in the series of uh, my bikes. So um, this just gives a little bit of background. I I already had quite a nice track bike, and this one became um, available on eBay, maybe. I don't know, six, seven years ago, and I bought it, never really fell in love with it, put it in my roof, um, and then uh, <clears throat> my hip got worse and I couldn't ride the bike and, and much, so it just sort of stayed there. Um, and I got it out after I started riding the bike after um, getting my new hip, <clears throat> and I've been using it, I, I mainly use it for um, where I live, we've got a, an outdoor velodrome, and during the summer I use my other track bike but during the winter when it's not it's a bit um, sort of uh, I don't know unpleasant down there yeah where it's been raining on and everything I tend to just use this DF4 <coughs> um, it probably is uh, you know the bike deserves a whole lot more but uh, you know I own it and it seems to be the one I want to use down, down at a local track so what I do is I uh, stop talking and I'll give you a little walk around and try and show you some of the interesting parts on it and how I've set it up. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so uh, there, there's a side view of the bike. Um, so these are pretty uh, globally used. Um, they're very popular. They're made by a chap called uh, Terry Dolan, who's um, up in uh, sort of uh, further up the country from where I live and I, I've bought several bikes from him but these, these uh, DF4s are an off the peg um, uh, bike you know um, but they're, they're, they are used uh, by all sorts of people and, and they you know people become world champions on these uh, sort of bikes so the, um, so the, uh, the wheels I don't normally use these wheels I just I put them in there because what I wanted to do is um, weigh weigh the uh, the bike at the uh, end of the video, and uh, when I bring my other make a video on my other bike, we'll try and do a comparison with um, whether the other one is lighter. But to be honest, I've never never done that comparison, so it'd be interesting to me. Um, so um, what I wanted to do is with use the same wheels on um, on both uh, well both weighings, so to speak. So um, let's get a bit closer. So what I've got here, over here, we've got um, it's an adjustable stem I've got on here. And the reason I wouldn't normally use that sort of thing, but it's um, as my, um, as I was recovering from my hip uh, replacement, it was quite useful to be able to slowly drop it down um, and, and get to a, a better position. But what I've got to do, um, if I'm just move you over here, I've got a, now I'm comfortable with that, I've got a different stem, uh, one that's not adjustable and be a whole lot lighter to be honest. Um, so I'm going to put that on uh, over the next day or two. And these bars are two centimetre, yeah, two centimetres narrower than the ones that are currently on the, on the uh, DF4. So, um, yeah, so that should just make me a little bit uh, a bit more aero in theory. Not that these bars are very aero. Um, and you could, when I show you the other track bike um, in a future video, you can see where they've gone sort of uh, in the modern times, so a lot more aero. So what we've got down here is we've got Sugino uh, cranks on here. So Sugino 75s. They've got a 144 uh, pitch circle diameter. So it's quite good because uh, that means all the chain rings that I've got fit this bike and on my other bike I've got uh, the same or they fit both my track bikes so that's quite good so I don't have to have different sets for different bikes um, so just back on these bars um, if you've watched many of the other videos uh, on on my bikes these are just exactly the same old style Sonelli bars because I've always tried to keep the touch points the same on all my bikes as far as um, handlebars, saddle and uh, pedals. So 
yeah they're the same but as I say I'm just going to put a slightly narrower set on um, so I've got these saddles on all my bikes so uh, well, other than the one in the background um, but uh, uh, and they've got this sort of aero let's see if I can get a better aero seat pin now these are they are a bit of a pain because it does you, there is a tendency for them to want to slide down you and you have to have to be a bit cautious of them um, of setting it up to uh, stop that happening um, <clears throat> so what else have we got on here um, now these wheels these uh, navigators were wheels that um, you got from uh, from uh, Dolan cycles and uh, these are very old I bought them in 2005 I think uh, but they got fabulous tubs on let's see if I can see that's a bit upside down but these and these are just they've just gone out of production um, recently to ghosts and I I wanted these tires and I couldn't get them they're made in uh, Belgium I believe and um, the only place I could find them was in Australia so I had to even though we were in the EU when I bought them um, we had I had to pay import duty to get them shipped over from um, uh, from Australia so they cost me a bomb you, you because they're uh, getting on to be 20 years old you won't want to ride them anywhere but they are um, I'm going to change the tyres shortly and, and maybe use these wheels um, one of the other things this one's got which is unusual for me and it's only because I've never changed it it's just a chain uh, on that came with the bike this is one in uh, one eighth of an inch thick and I normally ride uh, three thirty seconds which are not na narrower and um, lighter well lighter because they're smaller now I'm not a big you know I don't produce a lot of power so I can get away with the three thirty second chain and then I get the benefits of the uh, the weight saving on this um, so let's have a look around uh, have a, give you a look from there so as you can see it, it's quite a narrow bike um, it's very slim if you again if you look at the more modern bikes they they have um, the the aero technology sort of uh, advanced quite a lot so um, this would be classed as quite old hat but nevertheless the, you know they've run many world titles on on df4s there's a scallop in here which is quite a nice thing where your wheel wheel goes um, and you've got these what is one of the great things with these they've got very long uh, ends um, so that allows you to move back and forward a long way so you gives you a bigger range of gears that you can um, use without having to change the chain so that was always one of them I've taken them out but there's a thing that goes through here and then you can clamp them on press against the spindle so just in case you try to pull the wheel over when you're um, starting from a standstill and that that sort of will helps stop that happening um, let's have a look around here what we got I not prepared this as normal yeah that's just a oh, bash my head just a shot from the other side um, so these and let's have a look and there's another I think there's another and again if we look I get down if we look there's another little indent there uh, which is quite a nice touch nice finishing touch there's all sorts of stuff on here from down at the velodrome last night so uh, yeah that's um, that's a DF4 it's a it is it is a nice bike but I the other one I have was actually um, uh, built for me because I'm not very tall but I have really long thighs and so I needed to uh, get that seat angle more so this the angle of this I wanted it to be more shallow so going back so I can get a better position on the bike and I do feel more comfortable on the other bike um, so um, but this this is still pretty good to to um, 
to ride. Now there's a DF5, so this is super, it's been superseded this frame now. Um, and uh, that's it's relatively new, probably about a year or so old. Um, and that, and but they they've not, you don't see so many of them are out and about. So um, these are, are pretty good. Um, yeah, so these got the uh, the forks of my uh, Alpina uh, ones, and so there there again, that's just a a Dolan sort of. Uh, Brand, I suppose one would call it, and you have this little sort of nudge thing here. I'm not, I'm not sure really how much aero benefit that would give you, but um, yeah, not a lot. So, okay, so that's a bit of a walk around, around the bike. So, what I'll do is I'll just uh, hang it on the scales and then I'll bring you back and we'll have a quick look and see what sort of weight we get, and then we can do the comparison, as I say, with the, the other bike. All right, so I'll be back in a minute. So there we go, uh, 7.225 kilos. So uh, not too bad weight wise, but um, you know, as, as I previously said, um, reasonably old uh, technology on this one. Um, yeah, yeah. So, um, well, that's about it for the DF4. As I said, I'll do the, um, I'll do the one on my other track bike and we do some comparisons on the weight. So I'll do that on another video. Okay, so many thanks for watching. Uh, stay happy, strong and healthy and be adventurous. Cheerio.